hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I am going to share this classic simple coal eyes look this one is looks perfect for daytime it's very easy and simple to create and it's wearable and the best part of this look that all the products I'm using in this video are super affordable so without wasting any more time let's get start to the video So here I'm starting off with some moisturizer and for that I'm using the Biotech Bio Coconut Moisturizer. I'm applying this on my face with my fingertips and also I'm little bit applying this on my neck area. And now I'm going to priming my face with this Blue Heaven Primer. I'm using this much amount and uh, first I'm using applying this on my T-zone and then I'm dragging some product on the cheek area. Here I am using my fingertips, you can also use any kind of brush. Then to balance out any pigmentation of my face, I am using this LA Color Pro Concealer in shade orange and I am applying this on the underneath of my eyes, around my mouth, around my nose and also on the sides of my face. And to blend this out, I am using my fingertips again, you can always use a brush if you want to. And then I'm using this Fit Me foundation from Maybelline and I'm using this much amount. First I'm going to buff the brush on the foundation and I'm going to dab the product on my face like this way. And then I'm going to blend all the foundation with the same brush. This is a very lightweight medium coverage buildable foundation so if you want to apply any lightweight foundation for daytime you can always use this one. Always apply foundation or drag the brush on your neck and ears to balance the pigmentation and here again I am using a single layer underneath my eyes just to brighten up the area more. Then I'm using this photo focus concealer from wet and wild and first I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes on the bridge of my nose around my mouth around my lips and also on my forehead and also on my brow bone. It's a very good concealer to work with if you have extremely oily skin and it also covered the flaws pretty well. And also if you are looking for any bright concealer to highlight your face then you can also go for this one because it's brighten up your areas pretty well. And again to uh, blend this concealer I am using the buffing brush from Real Technique and I am just gonna buff the concealer into my face. And when I am happy with the blending, I am using a damp sponge and I am just gonna dab the sponge all over my face and it, it absorbs any excess foundation and concealer and also it locks the foundation and concealer into your face for all day long. Next to set all the concealer and foundation, I am using this luxury banana powder from um, Makeup Revolution and I am going to use the damp sponge. First I am going to apply this on the underneath my eyes and then little bit on my nose, around my mouth and little bit on my forehead and little bit on the eyelids. And now let the base set for at least 5 to 7 minutes and after that dust off the excess product from your face and for that I am using this small uh, fluffy face brush and this one is from Puna store. Dust off the excess product in a circular motion. It will make the base look more smooth. 
now my base is completely done it's time to work with my brows for that i'm using this pulley and this angular brow brush first i'm gonna dust off the excess product from my brows and also i'm going to drag it upwards and then i'm going to fill my brow gaps with this l'oreal brow artist shade and my shade is medium dark and here i'm using this creamy brown shade and i'm gonna fill my brow gaps with this angular brow brush first i'm going to draw the arch and then i'm going to fill the other gaps So for my eye makeup, I'm using this Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette and first I'm using this light brown shade for all over my eyelid and for that I'm using an angular fluffy small brush. I'm applying this all over my eyelid in a circular motion and here I'm concentrating on the crease line and also I'm applying this on the lower water line and for that I'm using the exact same brush. Next I'm adding this dark brown shade from the same palette and I'm using the exact same brush and now I'm concentrating the pigmentation on my crease line and I'm not going beyond the crease otherwise I'll end up looking like a panda and also I'm dragging the pigmentation on my lower water line using the same brush. Next to pop up the look I am using these two glittery shades together. First I am using this one and then the other one and here I am going to apply this with my fingertips on my eyelid and make sure you are using this pigmentation under the crease line. Now to add some definition to my eyes, I'm using this matte black shade and here I'm using a flat eyeliner brush and I'm going to apply this on the outer part of my upper eye line like this way and I'm just gonna drag the brush to make it little wing and also I'm dragging the brush on my lower water line. Next I'm using this palette Rose in the Air from the Wet n Wild and I'm using this uh, shade glittery shade and I'm applying this on the inner corners of my eyes it will make the eyes look bigger. My eyes are almost done now it's time to contour my face for that I'm using the shade and here I'm contouring my face using the product with a contour brush from Real Technique and I'm going to apply the shade on the hollows of my cheek and a little bit on my jawline. And for contouring my nose, I am using my fingertip. First, I am just going to dab the product on the sides of my nose and then I am going to blend it with my fingertips. 
I'm using this orange blush from Miss Claire and here I'm using a flat top brush and this one is from Puna store and I'm just gonna dab the product into my skin like this way just to make it more natural and also I'm applying this on little bit on my nose and little bit on my chin to, uh, to create a natural glow. Next I am using the same glittery shade from the wet and wild rose in the air palette and I am going to apply this with a fan brush on my cheekbone, little bit on the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, on my chin, on my brow bone and little bit on my forehead. And then for my lips, I am using the shade from Nykaa and the shade is Bare Minimum. This lipstick is way too dark for this look. So to customize the look, I am just gonna dab the orange blush on my lips. Now for the mascara, I am using the Color Essence Mascara and uh, I am using double coat of this mascara for both of my upper and lower lash line. Then when the mascara is completely dry, I am going to tight line my eyes with this Lakme Iconic Kajal in shade Jet Black and also I am going to apply this on my lower waterline. Then I have put my bindi which matches with my outfit and also put some matching jewellery and these bangles are from commercial market Bangalore and this jewellery piece is from Mintra. It's a set of necklace and earrings. For this look I prefer some simple natural hairstyle so I keep my hair open. Uh, so this is the final look. I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more such videos.